R. Ask Reddit, asks, what's the most embarrassing thing a parent has done to you? My mother insisted on seeing exactly what I bought for clothes to make sure they weren't too baggy until I went away to college. When I was 17, we were buying jeans at The Gap. And when I wouldn't basically do a fashion show for her for every pair of pants I tried on. She crawled her 58-year-old self under the door of the dressing room where I was trying them on. I'm a guy, and the dressing room had a line out the door. Everybody saw, everybody heard, edit. Also, all of your jeans are in the laundry. Just wear a pair of mine. E-D-I-T-2. Your waist is two inches above your belly button. Not halfway between your belly button and your penis. Thanks, mom. Oh hi there. Seems like we have the same mother. Calling all the neighborhood moms one day when my younger brother noticed I was growing pubic hair at 12 years old. My mother made it a point of conversation to let all 10 moms know I was becoming a man, and the calls went on for about an hour and a half, because apparently puberty is, that, stimulating a conversation for the neighborhood. Ended up with a lot of, such a little man comments from the neighborhood and a couple of dads pulling me aside and letting me know that no one needed to know as if i had something to do with it uh edit for silver wow thank each and every one of you that responded i tried to respond to as many people as i could that's fucking dreadful what was she thinking my mom pulled up my skirt causing me to involuntarily flash a room full of people at a christmas dinner I was absolutely mortified. She wanted to check for self-harm scars on my thighs. Apparently, I've never self-harmed before. She should not be allowed to consume alcohol. Edit. To answer the FAQs in the replies. I was 18, and I was wearing underwear. That is wrong on so many levels. What the fuck? I went to school at an outpatient mental facility as a kid. It was Halloween so the instructors let us paint our faces and do arts and crafts all day. I knew my mum didn't like Halloween for religious reasons so I just gave myself a cat nose with whiskers and made sure not to write Happy Halloween on anything I made. When my mum came to pick me up she screamed at me about how I knew better. Made me go to the bathroom to wash my face. As well as made me throw away all the stuff I made in front of everyone. Edit. She's non-denominational Christian. My mom would call my school and tell them I'm not allowed to participate in any Halloween activities. I'd have to sit in the corner and watch all the other kids get candy and have fun. Have never been allowed to trick or treat. Tell everybody at Thanksgiving dinner at her boyfriend's house about my tween bout with anorexia. I didn't want to be there in the first place. And she just kept going on and on about how I had carrots for dinner for a year until I had to shout at her to stop. What was the aftermath if you shouting at her? At least you had the nerve to shout at her. Good on ya. I came home from school with head lice. Instead of telling the teacher, who would send a letter home to everyone without specifically naming which child they noticed had lice. My mother rang every person in my class that she had the phone number of. She would have a chat with the parent or, yeah she has head lice so you need to check your kid. I probably got it from someone in my class and the whole class likely already had lice but kids don't realize that so the whole class were calling my dirty and saying I infected them. It was horrible. I was hysterically crying while she called people edit. Didn't expect this to get noticed so to address the concerns. She never did anything bad ever in my life except this. She kept saying, don't be stupid I'm just telling their mothers so they can sort it, and presumably didn't expect them to tell their 7 or 8 year olds who it was. Clearly someone did because the whole class knew it was me by the next day. Seems there's a lot of comments below with similar stories of adults just having no clue about how oddly shameful it is to have lice when you're little which sucks. But kids will jump on anything to be mean sometimes. My mum's done plenty of embarrassing things however the thing that jumps out the most would be what happened to my sister. She had been dating this guy for a year or two, on and off now normally not important but for the story it is, he's black and my family is English so we're like paper white. This was all back when my sister and I were in high school. It was Christmas. He and some family friends were invited over and everything was going great until it was time for gifts. My mum thinks she's hilarious. 
she gave my sister, who was a virgin still, a card pack of positions to try. Also remember there were family friends there, she was already mortified by that. Worse was yet to come. He opens his gift, and it has something else in it and a box of glow in the dark condoms. Mum. So she can find you in the dark. Everyone. Laughs nervously. Dot. Da fuck edit. For those concerned how old my sister and her BF were at the time. Sorry that's understandable. High school is pretty broad. They were in grade 12, seniors, so about 17 18 at the time. Hope that clears everything up. My mom and I used to try and embarrass each other. It was fun. One day we were at Safeway and I was in the toilet paper aisle and there was a very hot guy in there as well. She held up a mega pack of toilet paper and yelled, Hey sweetheart, this will be perfect on your sensitive bum. How's your diarrhea right now? Question mark. Question mark. I thought I would die. In like fifth grade, there was this girl I was friends with and we would always joke around and make fun of each other. So one day my mom was picking me up from school, and me and the girl were walking out together and she said, See you tomorrow Dumbo. I had big ears as a kid. Thankfully I grew into them. My mom heard her say that and wasn't having any of it. She stormed over and started yelling at her, saying things like, Don't ever talk to my kid like that again. How would you like it if kids made fun of the freckles on your face? She started bawling. I was so fucking embarrassed my mom was yelling at this innocent little girl in front of dozens of kids. We left and I didn't talk to my mom at all on our way home. Thanks mom. I love you. But that was mean. Sounds like a take the kid aside and quiet conversation kind of thing. No need to scream. I have aggressive Crohn's that started showing up around 8th grade. My mom took me to all of my doctor appointments which were all pretty embarrassing. Because no teenage boy wants their mom involved in the butt-related illness. One particular visit, we were about halfway through the appointment, when she whipped out a cool whip tub. Turns out, the following night I used the bathroom and it didn't all go down. So she thought it would be helpful to load that up in our poor people Tupperware and haul it on into the doctor. So he could look it over. He had the confused, what am I supposed to do with poop in a cool whip tub face for a good 5 to 10 seconds. Then politely dismissed it. Who'd have thought that there isn't any medical knowledge to be gained from fishing poop out of the toilet. Refrigerating it overnight. And schlepping it up for an office visit. She googled my boss's phone number. Called him in his office. Asked him to put me on the phone. In his office. I was in a meeting with a client. I didn't answer her call on my cell phone. In the middle of a work day, she wanted to bitch about my stepfather, and wanted to talk now. No emergency or anything, she just wanted to talk and gave zero shit about the consequence of her actions. As per fucking usual, and that's the day my boss and pretty much the entire company lost respect for me. When the mum of their co-workers called him on his boss's office to talk about personal shit. A few months later, I resigned. My dad told a guy the first had a crush on that I liked him. I was 16 or 17 at the time. Still mortified when I think about it. Yeah but you two are happily married now right? When I was in my early 20s and living at home my father took a business call for me. People say we sound exactly alike on the phone. So when he was mistaken for me he ran with it. And was an ass to the caller. I probably lost out on a low four-figure amount of money because of it. I used to think it was because he didn't approve of who I was dating at the time. But after events in recent years I think he was just letting his asshole side shine because of the opportunity to do so. Are you a sexual ninja or an asexual ninja? I've mentioned it before on R. Askredit, but when I was 11, I was taken in for questioning regarding drug distribution out of our house. My dad had marijuana growing in the basement, and he used and sold it to neighbors and friends. When the police raided the house, my dad was at work. He asked me if I knew what was in the room, because I had knowledge of it. 
I guess it was enough to bring me in for questioning, even cuffed me and everything. My dad didn't show up for almost eight more hours. As you can imagine, in a small town like the one I grew up, people talked, and I lived next to a massive apartment complex. I was the talk of the town for almost two years because of it. Who cuts a friggin' 11 year old OMG? Yes I remember you. When I was a senior in high school I had left the lights on in my truck all day and had to call my dad to come jump start my car. Now my father is six, one and has a very large belly. Motherfucker rolls up in cloth shorts and no shirt to jump start my car. Then there was the time a few years earlier that my mother had sent him up to school to give me a sandwich before a football game. The man's boxes were longer than his shorts. He's always there for you when you fuck up though isn't he? I was 10 years old and then my two best friends girl and boy were sleeping over that night and my dad. The oversharer that he is. Proceeds to tell my friends the story on how I was conceived in the back of a car on a cold night somewhere. I was so mortified and my friends were just as uncomfortable as I was and we collectively agreed to ignore the whole ideal. Also he brought the cake out to the lounge wearing only his undies and a bow tie. It was a rough night. Also he brought the cake out to the lounge wearing only his undies and a bow tie. The one is the most disturbing part. I had C-cuff boobs when I was 11 years old. My mom loved to loudly talk about them to anyone who would listen. Yeah, she's only 11. You wouldn't think from the way she's filled out up top. Hee 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 her 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 her. Then I'd start crying from the humiliation and she'd tell me to lighten up. Dot. That is so not right. I developed early too. And it's bad enough when you're the only girl in class with boobs without someone pointing it out. I can't even imagine going through that. What the fuck? Every time I made a mistake, big or small, my mom would tell my grandma. Then my grandma would proceed to tell the entire family so when we had meetups, I would never hear the end of it. On top of that, that same grandma would always tell me I didn't know anything and proceed to tell others I didn't know anything if I didn't have an answer to something I had to wait for, for example my work schedule. I'm still insecure about that to this very day. Edit. I really hope you guys gals, and all those in between or outside, are doing okay, made me realize that family can be super fucked up. Jesus Christ. Your grandma sounds like a bitch. <laughs> to preface this, my mom has a way with words. As in she doesn't always know what a word means but uses it anyway or she mispronounces things quite frequently. So I have this psychotic fucking hatred of feet and have had it for as long as I can remember. Not really sure why. Anytime feet are brought up my mum never fails to tell whoever she is talking with that I have a foot fetish. We have tried to explain to her what that actually means. Yet she does not seem to get it. I am 35 now and this has been going on for at least 25 years. It is kind of mortifying. My two little brothers find it hilarious and thus I am known as the foot fucker. Edit. My first read at Silver on a post about my mum telling friends and family that I am a podiatry enthusiast. Noise. And thank you for the gold kind Redditor. Mom made me call my 8th grade social studies teacher at home to ask if I could use him as a job reference. He lived with his parents still and I asked for him by first name. He waited for me at my locker the next day to tell me never to phone his house again, parents' house, and never call him by his first name again. Didn't get the job either. Mom denies this ever happened and claims she would never demand I do something so strange. Don't you hate when parents become revisionist historians? Ha! Huh. Gotta love it when moms deny the stuff they're ashamed of doing. My mom was pretty fucked up. So I have an endless list. The one that comes to mind right now is the time she sent me to go pick my younger brother from the pool. I, being a 13-year active kid, joined him and started playing with his friends instead. I guess she got tired of waiting for me and decided to come to the pool to check up on us. She came and found me in the pool, yes, wearing regular clothes shame on me, playing Marco Polo with the guys. She yelled my name, took her slipper off, and threw it on my head. Then she went on calling me a slut for swimming with guys. Every guy there went quiet. 
I think the silence was one of the most unbearable thing. Still prickles my skin when I think about it. I was so embarrassed. I remember that walk home. My head down in shame. Can't believe I actually I thought I did something wrong. Cried myself to sleep. What's funny is she didn't even ask my brother to come back with us. Fuck you. Mom. I'm glad our relationship is better now but you made my childhood a nightmare. Fuck you. Lots and lots of things. I was always sent to school with no school supplies. No Valentine's Day cards. No snacks when it was my day to bring snacks. No birthday cupcakes for the class. No notes saying I saw the doctor before school started and teachers took it out on me like I could drive myself to the store at 5 to 11 and pick these things up myself. Same here. Exclamation mark. I would get in trouble for being late, absent and had to go to the principal's office and take a star off my chart. Even though I was 6 years old and could hardly get there by myself. I never had food clothes, supplies and always got in trouble for it. No one stopped to think that I was a little kid and maybe I needed help. Not discipline for something I couldn't fix myself. When I was young we had a pajama day at school but I always just wore my boxes to sleep. Well obviously a kid can't show up to school in just underwear but I was too little, dumb to understand that. Why my mum allowed me to go and even drove me there. I have no idea. It was the most embarrassing day of my life. And the school had to call my parents to come pick me up halfway through the day edit to answer some questions. I was in elementary school. But I can't remember if it was first or second grade. And the school didn't notice or care until halfway because I was eating lunch in the cafeteria and kids were staring at me. Some adult must have noticed then. I'm so sorry you went through that. I've had actual nightmares of going to school in my underwear. Ask my best friend to leave my 16th B-Day party because her boyfriend was black. That's pretty shitty. You should you erase her head. This is unrelated but I watched a razor head last night for the first time and what the fuck. Was the boyfriend even there? My dad, influenced partly by bad boys too, decided to mess with my boyfriend on my first date by acting like a hard ass. He filled a whiskey bottle with tea. And when he answered the door he chugged the whole thing while staring my boyfriend down. Then tried to break the bottle over his own head. The date was cancelled due to the hospital trip. And I became known as the girl with the batshit insane father. Don't concuss yourself this time, became the running joke once I was able to get a date again. Okay but this is funny AF. My mother dressed me and my sister as Nazis to a local fate. We sat on a float and waved at people. We won the competition, but I don't feel right about it. You're supposed to keep the arm still, not wave it. That was a Tel Aviv carnival we'll never forget. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe to support the channel, and above all, have an excellent day you marvelous people.